guarantee you this will take us 45 minutes. Less. Less? Oh, it's not that long. I know, it's it's a super it's a super quick process. Four Phillips, eight 10 mils, pull it right out, swap it, should be easy, right? What is going on you guys? Back again with another video today. I guess we can technically count this as like part two of the uh, fuel rail build series sort of thing that I'm doing. Today we are, disregard these, ah! Today we are putting in the high flow AEM fuel pump that comes for the 04 up WXs and STIs, but I mean, it fits any GD chassis, I'm pretty sure, or really any Subaru to be honest. Super quick process, all you gotta do is take out the back seats. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is remove these rusty crusty bolts. Prior to removing these nasty ass screws, you're gonna wanna take off this little back half of the uh, back half of the trunk. Take that off on the passenger side and boom, fuel fuel pump will be right under this little tank over here. Yeah, it's done. Easy peasy. And I guess we're not gonna reuse this gasket. Well, this is just foam. Oh, all right, I guess it's not that important. This is my first time kind of going through doing a fuel pump, so I've watched a few videos on it. It doesn't look too difficult, but it's always better doing it with friends that have already done it before. Just in case you don't know what you're doing. These are the eight 10 millimeter bolts, which should be super easy to take out because my fuel tank, if you guys remember back when I first got the car, already had to get replaced, so they had to take these out anyways. So this should be a super quick process. All right, so we've got all the hoses, all the hose clamps at least off of these, off of the hoses and everything. This one in particular, I wanted to show you guys because it's kind of a weird one. So you're gonna wanna, sir, it's weird for me. It's a standard fuel fitting. This one, you're gonna wanna push the orange clip, like push it in and then pull back as you're pushing it in. Just like that. No! Okay. This is not eight millimeter. They're not 10 millimeter, sorry guys. All right, so all the lines are disconnected, got them as tucked away as we possibly can. I don't know what this is for. Honestly, I don't remember that ever even being there, but we'll get to that later. Now we're just gonna take off these bolts right here, which are not 10 millimeters, they're actually eight millimeters, I believe. Be super careful with that line right there because as you guys saw earlier, it literally just sprays fuel and it, it reeks of fuel in here right now. And it's like, it's making my nose kind of stuffy, but just be careful with that. Grab a rag, put it under there just to catch as much of it as you can. You can pull the whole fuel pump assembly out and you can like take apart the fuel pump and everything outside of the car. Now that we've gotten to this fuel pump, we noticed that there was this hose here. It's just got no, or this fitting here, it's got no hose on it. Well, I was looking a little harder and I don't know how well you can see it, but there is another hose right here. This hose right down here. There's no fitting on it, and we've had this hose that was had nothing on it. All the nuts are off now. I'm gonna let Cam do this because finagling this out can kind of be really frustrating. There it is. Where's the lever? I'm gonna let it down so I can take the lever. Yep. Well, actually, the way you're supposed to do it, it's like this. Tip it one way, tip it the next way, get the bobber out, get the filter out. There you go, perfect. And then grab a microfiber because there is fuel in that filter right there, and then we can disassemble it outside of the car. So, you get the clip to the back, undo the clip. Oh, shit. <laughs> Somehow I skinned myself. <laughs> there it is. We're gonna probably take off this line here. We're gonna do is dump all that fuel on the ground. Yummy! Smells oh, like money. Money. We're gonna pop this out of its holder and save this little piece right here because you're gonna no that right there you're gonna need save that put it on the new fuel pump. So this is the new fuel pump, the AEM. We are putting the filter back on, and I think there's a little O-ring that needs to go on as well. Or a clip, I think, one or the other. Mm -hmm. It's a little, uh, little round clip. So that's the little clip that we're talking about right there. You're gonna want to make sure that you have that, and you're gonna put that on the bottom of where the filter is. And you're gonna want to take that foam piece that we were talking about earlier, or rubber piece. I'm sorry. Clip that on, and then you should be all set. It's normally plug and play. They give you an extra harness right here, just in case like your wires are frayed or anything. No, that wasn't an extra harness. Or extra. 
What? This is a fuel line. No, no, this, this I'm not talking about this. This is this is for fuel rails. This oh, is, get that extra harness. No, uh, <laughs> extra harness is on it. This extra line here we don't need. I just put it on just in case. But our lines are good, so we're just gonna use the harness that's already on the fuel pump assembly. All right, let's see if she primes. I'm gonna do it three times, make sure it's all good. One. Two. Waiting to start it. Try it. back together cool 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 well, that's one less thing to do I see a brother I'm back home now you guys we put the fuel pump and everything in it uh, ran well it did help a little bit I think with boosting getting up to like six or seven pounds now I can do consistently we think that line back there on the gas tank might be possibly my entire evap problem and if that's the case I should shoot myself in the foot right now so we're gonna take a look at that the next time we get a chance to Currently, right now, I'm just giving an old girl an oil change. It's been a while, about like 27-ish, 100 miles. The past few changes, I've done it a little bit earlier just because she's been sucking down a lot of oil. I'm gonna knock this out of the way, and then uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this video now, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.